You may recall a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I compared two Casio Doros. Today I'm taking one of those Casio Doros, the one with the green bezel, and I'm going to be oil filling it. And then I'm going to be giving that watch away to my audience. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the Casio Doro. I'm gonna show you how I go about oil filling this one, and I'm gonna go for zero bubble. Today I have a little bit of a different method that I'm gonna try and see if I can come out with no bubble. So let's flip. Okay, as promised, I'm going to be oil filling this Casio Duro. This is a 200 meter dive watch. When you fill it with oil, obviously that depth rating increases. Very hard to tell what the depth rating will be when complete. You need to actually do a pressure test to figure that out. However, I will be giving away this watch and I will give you details uh, after it is oil filled, obviously. Uh, I will give you details at the end of this video, so definitely stay tuned. I have a little package that I'm gonna be giving away uh, other watches as well. So let's do the oil fill on this case and then we'll talk about those details later on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do it a little bit different from the way that I have done this in the past. I'm going to disassemble the watch, then I'm going to put it into a bowl, I'm going to fill it with oil, I will soak the movement in oil, and then I will put the case back, back on. So I'm actually going to remove the crown, and I'm going to essentially completely disassemble the watch, and then fill it with oil so that we get no bubbles. The uh, goal here is no bubbles. I'm not sure that I'll be able to actually achieve that. So uh, I have a paper towel here. I've already unscrewed the back just sort of a little bit so that could, this could actually go a little bit quicker. Um, here you go. I just use a, a really cheap tool from Amazon. These are very, very cheap. Uh, they're not great, so you have to be a little bit careful. You could scratch the case back, but if you're careful, it's really not that bad. So here's the case back, stainless steel case back. And then of course you have a movement protector. This is a large plastic mover, movement protector. Just pop that out. And uh, these usually come out pretty easily. You just pop them out just like this. Really can't harm anything by doing that. And then there is a tab. It's very hard to see, and I will do a close-up photo with an arrow pointing to the tab. And there's a little nub on that tab that you have to press down on to actually pull out the crown. That's really all you have to do to pull out the crown. And then that's it. So I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get fingerprints on anything, but I'm just going to flip this over. There's the movement. I'm going to throw that down right there and I'm gonna put all of this aside. I have a bowl here, and I'm just gonna put this aside, right there, and here's the bowl, and I'm going to place the watch in the bowl. So this is obviously the case without the crown. I'm going to fill this with oil. The oil that I am using is Super Lube, and this is the brand right here, Super Lube. This is multi-use synthetic lightweight oil, ISO 68. So it's, uh, it's food grade, so you could actually, I believe, eat this, but I would not. And all I'm gonna do is fill up the case. I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm just gonna fill it up right away. I have plastic tweezers here, I'm gonna try and pop those bubbles, or at least move them out of the case uh, and try and get rid of them so that there are no bubbles when I actually place the movement back into the case. Hopefully that will work. And again, I'm just going to drop this in. That's it, so the crown, uh, the date is right there by the crown position, and I'm going to drop this in just like that. Now, I'm sure there is going to be uh, a good amount of air that is trapped in that chapter ring. However, I'm going to just slightly push this down, just lightly push it down. And the good part about using a clear bowl, and I highly recommend you use a clear bowl, is because you could just lift it up and look underneath, and you could see you know, basically how many bubbles you have. If you have any bubbles, um, it's pretty easy. You could lift up the watch too. And it doesn't look like there are bubbles. So maybe it filled up pretty nicely. I think it did. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now let it sit. And a lot of the oil that I've already filled it with has spilled out. And I'm just gonna fill it up and let it sit for about 20 minutes like this. Then I'm going to fill it again. I'm gonna replace the crown and then I'll put the case back back on. 
So uh, replacing the crown, all you need to do is put the crown into the movement. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky uh, just to get it lined up, but once you do, it just goes right in, clicks right in. You don't have to do anything else. Literally just put it right back in and you're done. Uh, and then of course, screw in the crown and then uh, I'll fill it up again and then I will fill it up again. I will fill up the case back with oil as well uh, so that it's wet with oil and then I will reapply the case back um, and let's check in in just a few minutes. Well, there you go. I am very satisfied with the result. You can see almost no bubble. There's a little bubble that's stuck to the dial. That'll come up eventually and then be floating at the top of the uh, dial near the bezel here uh, sooner than later. But that's really it. If you heat up the watch also, some of those little bubbles will disappear. So I'll do that. I'm going to do that anyway to get some of the oil out of the bezel. I've already washed the watch got most of the oil out. I got a lot of oil on this watch. So there's a lot of oil in the bezel. There you go, those are the results. You can see how clear it is. There's a lot of clarity to the dial now. Uh, that oil sits up against that mineral crystal. So you get almost as if that dial is printed on the top portion, on the bottom portion of that mineral crystal. It looks really good. Then of course, you get the added water resistance. Now, what that added water resistance is, I have no idea. However, if you were to test this, uh, these go into the thousands of meters of water resistance, and that is because you have now oil filled it, and obviously uh, the pressures are different now. Uh, this does have a screwing crown and screwing case back, so you do not need to worry about oil coming out of the case. As you can see there, it's going to stay in there. Uh, you could change the battery as you would have normally, and the loom works normally. You could change the time normally. You could see it's working right now. You can change the date. Everything functions as it did before it was oil filled. Now, how do you win this watch? I'm going to be giving it away during a live stream that I'm gonna do very soon on my WhatNot channel. So follow me on WhatNot. There is a link down in the description. You get $10 towards your first purchase. Even if you don't purchase anything and you just wanna come for the live stream, you get $10 towards anything uh, you may wanna buy on WhatNot. So pretty cool. All you need to do is sign up for WhatNot, follow me there. Also add a comment down below and follow me here. Like this video and you are entered to win this watch. So this is basically a custom Doro, Casio Doro that I customized. Uh, whether or not that is a good thing is up to you. <laughs> but I am very happy with the results. I'm actually happier with the results on this watch than the previous watch that I oil filled because there was a bubble. So uh, I like this. This does not have a bubble and I think it looks really very, very good. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. It's just a little cool trick that you can do with quartz watches, obviously solar watches, because I did that with a solar watch as well. It also has some benefits. Like I said, the clarity and the water resistance. Water resistance probably you will never use, but that clarity is pretty awesome. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. One of those links is to Whatnot. Click that link, you get $10 towards your first purchase on Whatnot. Follow me there, and I will be giving away this watch, among other things, in my next live stream, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video.